Good morning guys, happy Monday. I am, oh my gosh, okay, so today is a little bit busy and I'm in the middle of editing um, some more complex videos for you guys. I have um, um, keto dinner recipe ideas coming for you guys. I've got um, a sleep training video coming for you guys. A lot of those sit down videos take me a little bit longer um, ooh, to edit. Wow, I'm making a giant, giant. Okay, so like I said, it is Monday. I have a ton of things I need to take care of this week. So today on my channel, we are starting out with a day in the life slash run errands with me. So get it all done, kind of, if you will. Um, a lot of you guys over on my Instagram said that you were motivated on Mondays and Fridays. I asked you which day was like more and it was a 50-50. So I know a lot of you are feeling motivated on Monday and on Friday, and I am the same kind of person. Monday is a little bit harder. I'm feeling a little bit crunchier than I do on Friday. Fridays. Friday I feel like more alive and energetic but Monday I just get all the things done I get all of the bills taken care of um, I touch base with customers and things like that so Mondays are definitely a different kind of motivation all right so in today's video I'm going to take you with me I need to go to Walmart and Aldi after I bring Kai to daycare and I have a little bit of a surprise for Kai I have something that I wanted to work on and it's S N A C K station and it's a surprise you'll see as soon as you get home today you will see I, I need to figure it out a little bit myself okay here's your yogurt and then the kids want cereal this morning we're gonna have some fruity pebbles all right so my husband and i were talking this weekend and we we're like you know what we should have like a little spot like this just for the kids and like make it feel like it's just for them right so like just like little spots in the house that are just for them so this is what we're doing i have a spot in the basement um we've turned the basement into a gym slash um whatever you call it playroom there we go gym slash playroom our house is smaller so we're like working with the space that we have um so everything is down there and then i want to do this station up here um and i can't decide if it's going to be a basket on the counter or if i am going to reorganize one of these drawers to see if i can fit um the things inside of a drawer for them because yeah this I hate I hate corner cabinets. I feel like I never make good use of their space. But um, this cupboard for sure in the corner. I want it to be for like bigger snacks, like adult snacks. So like um, I've got like bread, breads and things like that, tortilla chips, and then I want to keep cereal in there. So I want to get a couple of cereal containers and organize that out. More? No, we're not gonna have more. Let's have some cereal, buddy. Here, mommy will get some some milk. So my plan is just to reveal the end result with you guys over on, we're on my At Home With Morgan channel. Should we go have some Fruity Pebbles? Okay, let's go feed you and then I'll finish telling them what I'm going to do. I'm like brainstorming in my head, but I've really been considering making, so a lot of these like really fun blank station ideas that I've been getting up in from TikTok and I love them so much. And I kind of want to start an at home with Morgan TikTok because I have a TikTok that are just for my keto recipes. I've been really bad at uploading to that lately just because all I've been eating are eat to evolve meals. Um, again, if you guys want to grab those, I have a coupon code and link down below. I get a lot of questions on that over my Instagram if I have a link and a code, and I do. And it's down in my description box right here for you guys. Um, love them. I like to start by them. But that's why I haven't been uploading as many TikToks to like my keto page. But I want to start uploading more to my to like an at home with morgan and show you like more like organization and then you can get more of the full videos over on my youtube channel um but like this week for example i am organizing the laundry room and like refilling all of the things like all the satisfying things um, i'm going to be doing that and then in addition i am going to be like organizing out the kids' like snack cabinet and there's just something like so satisfying about seeing like everything get refilled and like all of the snacks and like cleaning and all of the things so um like all the mom things like the things that i do on the on a on a day-to-day -day basis in between working and like doing my m&m rustic stuff um i feel like that's so satisfying to so many people so anyways i kind of want to start uploading tiktok videos on that let me show you how i make my coffee Okay. It is a drama fest over here this morning. Um, okay, so I have these double Nespresso or double Chiaro espressos. 
These are great. I'm starting it a little slower this morning and I am just going to start these Highlander Grog um, Cameron's coffee pods are like the best. I love, love, love this flavor. Um, now let me show you what I do because um, like these fit technically like this, okay, into the pod. But, oh, Mike's calling me to say good morning, hang on. I did a really bad job of showing you guys, but um, it was that you have to like take the top off. I was talking to Mike on the phone, that's why I didn't want to like, whatever, leave the sound on. Um, but you have to like take the paper top off that Cameron's coffee, dump it in, like even though it looks like it fits, um, the paper from on top of that pod will get stuck onto the like little needles that come down for the um, Nespresso. And then put it in there. Um, so anyways, I have to take it out and then I put it back into the pod um like the pod is like empty so you peel off the aluminum foil and you dump out the coffee that's in there put the cameron's coffee in there and then you seal it with a reusable like with one of those like um like resealable lid things whatever i'll leave a link down below for you guys they're like 12 dollars on amazon and they're super awesome um and then and then you can brew your coffee and then I just brew some, um, or I foamed, brewed. I foamed up some whole milk this morning because I was craving some foam. Usually I skip that, but it's Monday and I try to like be a little bit easier on myself on Monday because we're all just feeling a little crunchy. So, all right, I've already prepped this drawer for the you know what um, station and I'm super excited. Stay tuned because I'm going to have the final reveal over on my At Home With Morgan channel this week. Yes. Oh my goodness, okay. We need to refill on all the snacks today, don't we? Beef jerky. Yep, beef jerky, that's like one of my favorite keto snacks. Yeah, and mommy is opening my Is it like 10 o'clock? Yeah, okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay, also, quick story time. My Monday morning meltdown. <laughs> um, it's probably a weekly occurrence. Mondays, I always have like so much ambition and then I like get going and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is chaos, chaos. So anyway, I am like, it's like 40, it is like 40 degrees today in Minnesota, okay? Where I live, it is 42 degrees right now. It is insanely nice versus like a week and a half ago, it was negative 40, negative 40. You are correct. That is an 80 degree difference and welcome to Minnesota. It is crazy, crazy, crazy where yes, you can have all four seasons in one week, kind of like Texas, but we get even colder. So anyway, all right. I go to the car wash this morning because I'm like, it's nice outside. And if you're not from where it's really, really cold, getting a, car, getting a car wash when it's really cold, your doors can freeze up. It's just like, it's not a good idea to get a car wash when it's negative degrees outside. So anyway, I go today because there's like salt built up. My black vehicle has now turned white. So I need to go and get it cleaned. And I like where I go also has like outdoor vacuums and they like provide like cleaners and towels and all the things. And I'm like, I am gonna deep clean my car today. I did not end up filming it for a good reason. Um, I didn't end up filming it because as I'm cleaning it, like I always have Koda with me. He comes with me everywhere. It's also his eighth birthday today. Our border collie turns eight today. And I'm going to spoil him. I'm gonna give him some ice cream. But anyway, um, he, or maybe not. Maybe not because, because when I was, <laughs> was cleaning out my car, he comes like running at me and I was like, what is the deal? Like, why are you having a panic panic attack? Like, why are you like, I thought maybe 
he was trying to get to the person who was vacuuming the car next to me. So I just kind of like pushed him back in and then I got the whiff of it and realized that he had had diarrhea in the car. Diarrhea, crap in the car, okay? Um, so there was like, there was some in the front seat, like thankfully on a blanket that I keep on the front seat, like passenger side for like for him, I keep it on the seat for him. Um, so that he doesn't get my seat dirty and all full of dog hair, dog hairs and furs and the things. Um, so I went and cleaned that up out of the front and then as I did that, he ran to the way back in the trunk and literally everywhere, all over the stroller, all over like the sides, like the hard sides. Thankfully, nothing really got into the upholstery. It was just like in the hard sides and yeah, so that was fabulous. While I was cleaning my car, deep cleaning my car, halfway done, I had to redo all of it all over again because, yeah. So, anyways, that was my story time. My Monday meltdown story time. So, anyways, okay, let's get back to the house and get these groceries home. Okay, 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 that's too long, what am I doing? Okay. It is four o'clock and I think I've farted around for like half the day. I'm trying to record and organize with me, which is going live tomorrow. I've decided I'm gonna put this vlog up tomorrow morning for you guys because like uploading it at night, like a lot of you don't see it. So I'm just gonna upload it in the morning. Try to figure out this uploading schedule, bear with me. I am still producing four videos a week um, between my two channels, like four to five videos, depending on like what my sketch is like with the kids. But anyway, okay, I like, I cannot focus. I'm feeling crunch. Um, and the workout that I've been doing lately probably isn't helping because it's like killing my lower back because it's like, I turn the resistance. So I have a, I have an elliptical and I turn the resistance up to like 15, 16, like, I don't know if that's the highest it goes. I can't remember, but I just, I crank it. I used to go at like 13, 14, and now I've been doing like 15. But anywho, and then I kick the incline up to 20, which is the highest it'll go. Oh my God, it is a workout, it is a workout. So anyway, um, but I'm feeling crunchy and like I'm moving in slow motion today. Um, and my videos in my brain are all over the place because I'm kind of like simultaneously recording several videos at the same time which doesn't work very well if you're wondering. But anywho, um, I have a huge pile of a mess behind me and it's four o'clock and Riker's still sleeping cause he didn't go, he didn't fall asleep until like 2.30 today. Um, I'm gonna wake him up at like 4.30 so that he doesn't wake or doesn't sleep too late. So like a half hour to hurry up and get um, all of this crap put back in place. Like there, I mean my kitchen's just exploded. So I need to do the dishes, put all the stuff away and film it and I have an appointment at five to get my lashes done because it has been like three weeks. Yeah, it's been like three weeks, so that's fun. Okay, so that was a really boring update, but um, this is a day in my life on a Monday and I am a mess. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. Do you guys wanna see a weight loss update? I'm very, I'm very ADD. Okay, let me show you, let me show you a weight loss update. Okay, so here's the mess in the background from, um, behind the scenes organized with me video. So you guys are gonna see like the really clean version. Here's the real version in the background, okay? I am a hot mess. Anyway, okay, so I feel like this isn't a very flattering angle. Let me bring you down. Ooh. Okay, I'm back up a little bit. Don't mind the mess behind me, but um, this is where I am sitting at right now and I have started to incorporate um, workouts and if I have a line on my butt it's because I, so I have like a tummy control tank top and I tuck it into my leggings because otherwise it looks goofy. Um, but this is where I'm sitting at after 
um, 43 pounds and starting to work out this month. Um, it's been a little bit sporadic, but at least three to four days a week. And there you go, there's the side shot. Now this is my problem area. Showed you guys this before. Here is my butt. Okay, that's what everything's looking like. This is the area I struggle with the most. This is just skin from the babies, which will never go away unless I get a tuck. And my lower back area, I'm trying to tone up. So like right here and right here, I'm like trying really hard to tone that. I figured I would give you guys a weight loss update because um, I wear, I still wear oversized clothes every day because like that's what's in style. Like sometimes I'll like tuck it in. Mike will make fun of me because it doesn't look very good, but Anyways, okay, so that's where I'm sitting at as far as weight loss. Um, I bounce back and forth between 40 and 43 pounds if I'm being honest with you. Um, I got my period this weekend, so I went back up three pounds. Um, that's super normal. I try not to wear, weigh myself on my period because that is mean and rude. Uh, so I will give you guys another update on Friday morning when I vlog um, and let you know where I'm like really at. And yeah, um, as far as cheats, I have one cheat meal a week. I have um, my cheat meals usually on Saturday night. So I went and I had a couple of drinks and I had, I stuck pretty much on keto. I had like wings, but then I let myself have a couple of pickle fries and waffle fries, like not overindulging. I still counted my calories. Okay, that was a lot to say at once. Okay, I'm going to finish all of this. I'm gonna stop procrastinating. So. If you guys haven't yet, make sure that you guys head over to my At Home with Morgan channel and check out the cute Organize and Clean with me because this one is adorable and it's like all about the snacks that I shared with you guys in today's video. Um, I usually don't get snacks like that for the kids, but I like I wanted to give them a really fun like snack drawer as like. I don't know, just like a little surprise. I like to surprise them once in a while and then I don't get to have stuff like that very often. Like the peanut butter and Nutella, like I'm not concerned about like whatever, that stuff. And I still got reduced sugar fruit snacks, like I said, because I'm boring. I'm a boring mom. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you are way cooler than I am, but I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So, okay, I uh, will see you in a little bit. Okay, so I just got done um, editing. Uh, I don't know if I've checked in since I came back from my appointment, but I got my lashes done um, and they look so much better. It's been like a month since I've had them filled. So now we're gonna head to the basement now that I'm done editing my At Home With Morgan video. And I'm just gonna get like a quick like 20 minute workout, nothing crazy in. So I'm gonna do that. Mike's already sleeping. He fell asleep when he was putting Riker to bed. But um, this is my setup. Um, <laughs> I don't want to reveal the whole basement yet and it's really messy down here, but this is my setup right here. And then I also keep my shoes down here um, so that I can just like toss them on really quick. So I'm gonna go and do that and then we're gonna hop on and I'm gonna get a quick workout in. All right, so ideally, I will not be wearing a sweatshirt when I am working out, but um, today, just want, like I said, I just wanna like get really quick, get my workout in, be done with it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys really quick on my elliptical, like what I do um, for a killer workout. And I'm serious, this one kills. I can like, my lower back, I can feel it big time. Um, so I'm gonna show you really quick what I do. First things first, I put elliptical workout on my watch so I can get that started. And then I hit the incline up to 20. And then I kick my, oh my gosh, that is so loud. I think I turned the volume up. Then I kick my resistance up to 15. 15 resistance, 20 incline, and I go for about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll see how long I make it tonight. Sorry if you guys are getting dizzy. I need to get into a short sleeve shirt. I need to like wash my face now. I am pooped. But anyways, that is going to wrap it up for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life and this like shop with me and like just hang out with me. It was a day. It was a crazy day. 
but I'm proud of myself for sticking to it and getting on my elliptical at least in the midst of all the chaos and like everything going on. So holy moly, I'm pooped. I'm gonna stretch it out. I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. It's going to be a plant shop with me and then on Friday this week, I do have that crock pot recipe video coming out for you guys. And then next Monday is that sleep training video. So stay tuned for all the goodness coming up for you guys. I will see you in a couple days. Okay, bye guys.